Twitter Media Studio, which is an amazing tool that actually exists right on your Twitter platform. So as you can see, I'm sharing my screen with you, and we're going to just go over here to the three dots, which we're going to click on. And then we're going to go over here to Media Studio, and we're going to click on that. And what's amazing, it's this giant library where everything that you have well, not everything, but your videos and your GIFs that you have added on to Twitter are all here for you. What's cool about this is you can upload. It's not just what you've actually used on Twitter, but you can upload whatever you want. So it takes time to upload. I'm just going to show you how to do it. You hit over here, upload, and then just like anything else, you get your, you know, whatever, everything that's on your computer, and you can do that. But I already did it because I don't want to waste it, your time. So here's what I just uploaded, our team media, our team vi uh, video. And I'm going to show you the exciting things that you can do with it. So the first thing you can do is you can change the title, which is really great. I don't want it to say with subtitles. I'm just going to say make a team video. And this is another cool thing, so that was really easy. I can change the thumbnail. I can scroll through it and just decide what makes a good thumbnail. Thumbnail. So let's see. Uh, oh, I think that looks good. Uh, create an awesome team video, even when everyone's working remotely, even when no one in your company, whatever, but that's okay. So I'm going to choose that. I like that as my thumbnail, which is great. And when they look at it, they know it's create an awesome team video. Then I go down here and I have settings. So I have the title and I'm just going to call it... Um, uh, make a team video, make a team video, and then I'm going to describe it. Are you interested in learning how you can make an easy, and I'm going to actually add a hashtag in here because then it's searchable, team, team video, great. And then it gives me a drop down list. I don't get to choose this myself. I'm going to say this is digital creators. Uh, could be entertainment and pop culture. I wish they had education in here, but they don't. So I'm just going to go with digital creators. And then what's really exciting here is a call to action. I'm going to come back because I don't want to switch between too many um, different screens here. But the call to action is great. You could put your website, put in um, whatever it is that you want. And then it gives you, once you do the call to action, it gives you the chance to either say watch now or um, click here, which is really good. You can add subtitles if you didn't do subtitles already. You can go over here and tag people if you want to, and it gives you a link so that you can save the tweet and share it with other people, which is super exciting. Um, you can go over here to tweet, and then it just brings it up like a regular post, and you can write whatever you want. And then you come down here, and you can hit schedule. And then obviously, you can schedule it. So what's great is no matter what you do, how many times you do it, it will always live here on your library. It's not showing up right now, but it will. So that's very, very exciting and really a cool thing to be able to use. And that's just a really quick tutorial on how to use Twitter media.